Port Authority Police. Uh, their agency, along with ours, were involved in today's, uh, today's incident, and I appreciate their partnership. Very, very, uh, uh, Pittsburgh Police are very, very grateful for the professionalism of the response of their personnel as well in this uh, difficult incident we face. Uh, I'd like to thank all of you, the members of media who've worked with us throughout this, uh, this difficult and challenging day. This is still very much an ongoing and active investigation. So uh, my intention here today is to be able to share the facts as we know, uh, facts as we know them. There will be things that we simply are not yet in a position to share. So uh, I'll give you a, an overview narrative of what, uh, what we understood to be uh, the facts. We'll open it up to, for questions. Please understand there'll be things we can share and there'll be things that we can't because again, this is still a very active, active investigation. Today at approximately 10.06 a.m., the 911 center received several reports of shots being fired in the 200 block of Jakunda Street. In the ensuing minutes, the 911 center received numerous calls involving an actor walking in the area with a gun actively firing at citizens. So we received multiple complaints to that effect. Incoming responding Pittsburgh police officers were flagged down by a carjacking victim. That victim provided us a statement uh, describing a white Buick LeSabre having been taken from him. Uh, that information was broadcast to responding officers our carjacking victim was, un was uninjured but was uh, emotionally very shaken up. The, uh, at approximately 10.18 a.m., uh, the 911 center receives another report. Our actor fires upon an occupied vehicle. Two individuals within that vehicle, one male, one female. The male received a non-life-threatening injury to his shoulder. Uh, the female was uninjured. Both were able to successfully flee, flee from the scene. Uh, at approximately 10.26 a.m., a responding Allegheny County Sheriff's deputy spots the carjack vehicle. That vehicle was uh, at Brown, on Brownsville Road at Knoxville. As the deputy attempts to turn around to get in behind that vehicle, the actor sees the deputy's vehicle and opens fire on him. Rounds strike the deputy's uh, vehicle going through the windshield. Other rounds go out the side, the side door. The deputy calls out that he's under fire. He bravely continues to follow the actor vehicle as it continues on, uh, on Route 51. At approximately 10:29, as officers are following the victim on Route 51, they, the actor's vehicle becomes trapped in heavy traffic. At that at that time, the actor opens fire and begins shooting at uh, responding officers. The Pittsburgh police officers and Port Authority officer who were on scene uh, bravely returned returned fire. Uh, there was an exchange of gunfire, and at 10:31 a.m. and 51 seconds. Uh, after the exchange of gunfire, the situation was brought under control. Medics were called to the scene to attempt, uh, attempt uh, emergency aid, but at approximately 10.36 a.m., the, uh, the actor was pronounced uh, dead at the scene. The city of Pittsburgh police officers, the Allegheny County Sher and the Sheriff's officers, and Port Authority police should be commended for the professionalism uh, of their response. They were very surgical in being able to shield members of the public from harm. This vehicle was stopped in very heavy, dense traffic, and there were cars occupied by, uh, peop by people throughout this area. Somehow the uh, officers were able to safely neutralize the threat, and no innocent, um, innocent parties were, uh, were harmed during the course of this incident. Anytime that there's a loss of human life, it's a tragedy. Uh, this investigation continues. At this point, the motive behind this is, very, is unclear. We simply, we simply don't know. Our hearts go out to all of those who've been adversely Im impacted in the community and those, um, those people close to our, to our actor. So again, this is a very uh, active investigation. The Allegheny uh, County District Attorney's Office will be overseeing our investigation as is our normal protocol. And as uh, the investigation is concluded and more facts are available, certainly I'll be most, most happy to share. 
At this, at this point, I'd like to open it up if anyone has questions. Understand we'll share what we can and we'll respectfully explain why we can't answer some of those we, we can't re respond to. I don't have I don't have that number. There were a lot of officers. As you as you understand, this was a protracted active shooter incident where it's starting at 10:06 and end, ending ultim, ultimately at about 10:31. So there's going to be a lot of officers coming from all over, not just the city of Pittsburgh but Allegheny County, to try to keep this community safe. So there were a lot of cops rolling that direction. Have you identified the at, th at this point, the, and the actor's identity is known to us. The medical examiner it has not yet released that information. It would be inappropriate for, for us to release that pending notification of next of kin. So the actor is known to us. However, we're not at liberty yet to disclose that. What can you tell us about his gun or guns? I'm sorry, say again? What can you tell us about his weapons? weapons? The actor was armed with an uh, AR-15 style semi-automatic weapon. Uh, I don't know if the exact, exact brand. We do have a photograph of the weapon that uh, Lieutenant Joseph here will share. We'll make them available here on the table. As you can see, it's a full-size assault rifle style weapon with a scope, uh, very similar to the weapons that our, that our SWAT team utilizes. Do you know how many rounds he got on during the I don't know if we have that information yet. I, I don't have that available here. There was a per, this was a protracted situation, multiple scenes where citizens were fired upon, multiple scenes where shots were directed at officers, and one final scene where there's a protracted exchange of gunfire. So I don't have that number. Have you been able to trace the weapon shooting? I don't know that we have yet. You mentioned that officers were able to surgically protect citizens who were in the area when yes. the final shooting occurred. Can you describe a little bit about how that happened? Absolutely, absolutely. As as the car the car comes to a stop in heavy traffic with occupied cars all along, officers recognize they're a being taken under fire, so they have to be able to protect themselves. They have to stop this actor from firing uh, and jeopardizing the safety of the public as well as these officers. So they had to find positions where they could safely engage without uh, generating situations where their actions are going to jeopardize the safety. In order to do that, our officers had to leave the safety and cover of vehicles and cars and place themselves in harm's way to be able to direct fire at such a point that they can stop the threat without uh, jeopardizing human life. Was he shot in his vehicle or had he already exited? He, he was shot in his vehicle. Did the actor know or have any connection to any of the victims? That I don't know. That I do not know. Mo I know that it, some of the, shoot the earlier shooting incidents appeared to be random. We, we don't know of any connection. Might there be some other relationships tied into this? I don't know that yet. Do well, we know how many of the victims are doing Somebody help me. Or do we have anybody treated still in? Treated and released at the hospital. Say again? Treated and released at the hospital. Okay. How many of them are treated in the hospital? Just one. Just a male. Just one. 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 She was injured, or the deputy was responding to the scene, and uh, he had his red light and siren on, and she came through the intersection, said she, she heard the siren, but uh, he slid into her, hit, hit her in the rear of the vehicle at T-Bone as the, uh, the vehicle with the actor in it was uh, going uh, north on Rod 51. She's not hurt bad. Uh, there was no noticeable injuries. The uh, deputy was there, no noticeable injuries. A passenger, her, and the deputy were taken to Mercy Hospital, I believe, to be checked. The, the deputy has been released. I believe the other people have been released, but I'm not positive of that. And just to clarify, that deputy is different from the one who initially spotted the car? That's true. He was behind the car for a while. They took fire. One of the rounds went through the windshield, it just missed his head, hit, hit the, uh, the headrest behind him, exited the headrest, and then went through the side window. And he took, I counted three other rounds that hit the vehicle. But he's okay. The man who went to the hospital, what was the nature of how he was served? Was he actually shot with the weapon or was he hurt some other way? Lieutenant Joseph, can you help me? He was wounded uh, either by gunfire or from traffic to the vehicle. Do you know where that was? 
you know, that was early on after the uh, initial reports of shots fired, uh, where the people were being shot at. He was after that, but before the uh, deputy was fired off. Can I ask, was this suspect known to you before today? This suspect is known to police as having been involved in, in other incidents. Uh, I can't say much more about it than that, but he, he is known to us, yes. Chief, at 10.06, where this thing started this morning, 10.06, I'm going to say, was he targeting people who were shooting as there were multiple calls coming in at the 200 blocks of Christmas? Was he targeting people? Was he just firing at random? Or was he just shooting at people? He was shooting at people. He, he shot at and hit. The, uh, one, the one individual in the in the car. The, the others were calling in to report a man shooting at people and people fleeing, you know, uh, being shot at. So that's what that's what we that's the information that I have now. From your perspective, given that, yeah. how incredible is it today that no one was more seriously hurt? This, this was a. Uh, a very dangerous incident for the city of Pittsburgh. As we were, li we're listening to this, we're, you know, we're hearing of an active shooter shooting at people. Then I'm, we're monitoring, we're hearing the actors now being spotted by police and now I'm, our police or officers are being taken under fire. And then we're hearing this uh, pursuit coming uh, inbound on Route 51 towards the city. And we're, uh, I was deeply concerned for the, for the welfare of the, uh, for this community. And so I just can't say enough about the courage and the uh, skill shown by the officers responding to this to be able to safely contain this and uh, bring this to a successful resolution. Very, very dangerous situation. Did, did the suspect live in the area that you come to the street? I don't, I don't know that. 20 years old? I, I don't know that. I'm sorry. So, so to be clear, he was firing while he was walking in the street, and then once he carjacked, he fired from the car out of the window. Yes. That's yes, that's that's correct. And uh, can you can you add add more with anything you can share without compromising the investigation, or are we good with that at this point? That's basically it. That's accurate. Was one foot fired? Could you could you could you know, 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 oh. I know you don't want to. Basically, what you asked the doctor, yes, no, no, no. <laughs> mm. He was on foot firing at people in the streets. He was then in a vehicle firing at uh, officers. And then he ended up at 151 where uh, it ended there. How many shots were fired by this individual? Many. We don't have an accurate count of them, but many. How many rounds? I don't know. Hey, Jim, you have how much ammunition you had on him? I don't know that. There was some talk early on, I believe, possibly of a scanner about trying to 302 someone or some psychiatric issues. Was that related to this guy or? I do not know that. No, and there, there are a lot of questions still unanswered for our investigation. There's things that we'll be able to share when the investigation is completed that we, we can't now. So uh, if anyone has any other, any other questions, happen to field one or two more, then we're going to have to wrap. Where do you go from here at this point? You've got to your family, like, you know, I'm sure we'll be on a motive. There is going to be a lot of investigation yet, yet to do. We, we wanted to get out as much information as we could, as early as we could, so that's why we're sharing. But we've got more investigation ahead of us than we yet have behind us. So I again, just wanted to share the, the facts as we know them now. We'll continue to uh, investigate and we'll share as we can. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the, the male who was injured by the West Travel Board, the actual shooting, adult, yeah. child, you... He is a adult, adult male. 